Hello everyone, today I would like to introduce you to two Italian made gentleman's knives. The Viper Gent and the Viper Timeless. Viper is not the name of the manufacturer, it's the brand name of a product line that is made by Technocut. As you can see here the logo says Viper by Technocut. Technocut is a knife company that is located in Maniago, the cutlery capital of Italy. Other well-known Italian knife companies from Maniago are Mazarin, Lion Steel and Fox. Technocut, by the way, is also the official Italian distributor of case knives. Many knives of the Viper product line were designed by the Italian custom knife maker Fabrizio Silvestrelli. And if you look at these two knives, it's obvious that they were designed by the same person. So let's take a look at the features both knives have in common first and afterwards I will discuss each knife individually. Size-wise, they only differ a few millimeters from each other. The Gent is 5 millimeters longer than the Timeless. Both knives come with a liner lock and both blades are draw point style blades, but in fact the blade shapes are quite different. Look at the cutting edge. Here we've got this upswept curve on the Gent as opposed to the short belly on the Timeless. The handle shapes are similar, there is no pocket clip and both knives come with this leather pouch. Both the Gent and the Timeless are strictly two-hand opening knives, which is an important piece of information to my viewers from Germany. And that's where the similarities already end. Let's start with the Viper Gent. The name suggests the knife's role, it's without any doubt a gentleman's knife. This knife is available with a wide range of variations in terms of materials for bolsters and handle scales. This one doesn't happen to have any bolsters, but there are very luxurious versions of this knife with Damascus bolsters, for example. As for the specs, the blade length is 72 mm, the overall length is 172 mm. The blade thickness is 2.5 mm and the weight comes in at 75 grams. The blade steel is Böhler N690CO, a steel from Austria that is quite common here in Europe but is very little known in the United States. Spyderco once used it on the Volpi and N690CO is also the blade steel of the new Spyderco Squeak. But this doesn't come as a surprise since both Spyderco knives were or are made in Italy. The steel composition of N690CO is close to VG10, so it's quite a high quality stainless steel. It takes an extremely fine edge and holds it pretty well. As I already mentioned, it's a drop point blade with a swedge. The blade is flat ground. The jimping is not very effective. Maybe if it was a centimeter longer, it would be more useful. The handle scales are made of a rather exotic wood from Central America. It's called Ziracote, but I'm not quite sure about the correct pronunciation. It has various shades of black and brown. The appearance is a bit similar to ebony wood. However, Ziracote contains a more irregular wavy grain pattern, which is actually very beautiful. The stainless steel liners are recessed into the handle. They are not skeletonized. The locking mechanism is quite special. It's a button liner lock. You have to press this button in order to push the liner aside. The blade lock is very strong, no blade play whatsoever. And finally, take a look at this nicely decorated backspacer. Overall, a very beautifully made knife. Now for the Viper Timeless. It's also available in different configurations in terms of bolsters and handle materials. Let's go over the specs. 
blade length 70 millimeters, overall length 167 millimeters, blade thickness 3 millimeters. The weight comes in at 90 grams. The blade steel is Sandvik 12C27, the well-known stainless steel from Sweden that is quite common in European cutlery. The timeless also comes with a draw point style blade, but the belly is less pronounced than on the gent. The blade comes with a flat grind and a nice satin finish. The swatch covers almost the whole spine of the blade. Same problem with the jimping here, it's more decorative than anything else, but there is a slight groove here where your thumb can rest on. After all, this knife, like the Gent, is not made for heavy duty cutting tasks, so I don't consider the jimping as all that important. The knife feels comfortable in my hands, it cuts well and it looks splendid. As for the handle, the bolsters are made of hammered titanium. Look at this very nice crosshatch pattern. The handle scales are olive wood, which is a more typical wood for a Mediterranean knife than Ziracote. The liners are anodized titanium. The locking mechanism is a regular liner lock. The locking liner snaps into place very firmly. The lockup is solid, again no wiggling. The backspacer is made of stainless steel. I suppose that these three grooves do not have any functional use. Well, like the Gent, the Timeless is an elegant and the name says it all, Timeless Gentleman's Knife. Let's do a quick size comparison. Here we've got the Spinoco Persistence. As you can see, the overall length and the handle blade ratio are quite similar, but other than that, the Spyderco and the two Viper knives are worlds apart. Then we've got the Spyderco Delica 4. And finally, another of my Italian knives, the Mazarin Gourmet. The fit and finish of both knives is very well executed. Both wooden handle scales have a smooth finish. The blade centering is spot on. Although the Timeless and the Gent are similar, the choice of materials gives each knife its own character. So, if you are tired of looking at your black G10 folding knives, give Italy a chance. Check out the Viper product line or check out other Italian brands like Mazarin, Lion Steel or Fox. I hope you enjoyed my little review. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. So. Fertig? <lacht> 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 ja.